Hey there, I am so sorry for being away for so long guys, you've got no clue, I I was in all of my exams and I didn't have time for the last two months, I'm really really sorry, I'm back now and I've got a lot to show you guys because I bought a lot of books, I received a lot of books and yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a three-part video if it's not a four-part video. Yeah. So first thing I'm gonna start with three books that are not really books. They're more like story, not ish books. What am I talking about? Anyways, it is at Kitchen Essentials and Living Room Essentials. I am sticking them. This is kitchen. This is living room. Um, they were really cheap, so I didn't really. I don't need that, really, but I thought it was a good idea when I will move out. I'm not moving out, but just like, look at these tablets, guys. It's so beautiful. And I just really like the concept of that. There's a lot of different styles of living rooms that you can have. And, oh, Jesus Christ, look at these bookshelves. I want them. The other book that I have is my ultimate favorite actor in the world, in the entire world. It is Johnny Depp, a retrospective. This is a retrospective of all of his movies so far that he made. And this is just really interesting because there are a lot of his opinion on these books. Not these books, these movies. Other book I have is The Nest by Cynthia the Prick Sweeney. I've heard a lot about this book, but I have no clue what it is about. And the synopsis is way too long, so yeah. Next we got Life of Pi by Anne Marshall. I'm currently reading The High Mountain of Particles. It is great, not great, not great. It is fine for now. It's a bit long, but I'm not too far in the book, so I won't I don't want to say too much about it. And that one I've seen the movie, so I'm not too sure I will read the book, but um it's there. Next, I've got The $80 Champion by Elizabeth Letts. This is a movie... movie... why am I saying movie all the time? <laughs> this is a book about horse racing? Is it that? Horse racing? Is that how you say it? Next, I've got A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I bought it because it really really is popular, but I haven't read yet The Throne of Glass series. Not a trilogy, it's a series. And yeah, so I've got it, but probably should read the Throne of Glass series before because she made that she made a series before and I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I got Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard and I'm so happy about this one because I was waiting for that one for so damn long. I bought Fahrenheit four fifty one by Ray Brad. Burry. This is a book about firefighters who, instead of putting down fires, they create them in the houses to burn the books. And there's that one man who saves the book. <laughs> Next, I've got two books from Lucy Christopher. It is Stolen and The Killing Woods. I read Stolen. I have not read The Killing Woods. Stolen is such a beautiful story. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know what The, ki the Killing Woods is about yet. So that was the end of part one. I will see you soon with part two. You baby. Just you baby. and me.